Now, uh, I want to show you my own templates here. So I add a new item. It's model behavior in inheritance class. So let's call this test base class. If you watched, sorry, PT on hack a slash, you will see that he has many base classes. For for example, item base class. He gets rid of everything that's in here using Unity Engine, using System, etc. And he uses he creates a construction class and then he adds properties here it's that uh, base class nothing in it just regions for your attributes and your construction will be in custom classes keep it nice clean and easy I'll keep it here because I'll use it later life is easy sometimes so now let's take a look at mono behavior I'll call it just mono behavior or oh, common common mono behavior. This is my next template. Uh, when I'm developing a script that needs to be inherited from mono behavior, most of the time I'm using this class. Okay? Uh, sorry, this template. Because I have most of the normal overridable uh, mono behavior classes I have my regions for public variables properties and private variables I have my menu require and here is a grouped variable uh, this is when you want to uh, group some variables under one group and this is the definition the, here is the definition for it just uncomment it and uh, put something in front of these uh, general settings or here I must say the class name uh, for example if you have a camera for third person uh, you can say this one will be general uh, third person camera settings something like that and use it here again general third person camera settings okay uh, so it is grouped and I have my properties privates my overridables and here is the nice thing about this uh, template we have on triggers on trigger enter stay exit on collision uh, enter stay exit on visible, on enable, and on destroys. On mouse events, for example, enter, over, exit, down, up, uh, and drag. And on on GUI, okay. On uh, draw gizmo, on draw gizmo selected. And here is a place for my customs. So as you can see, they are all in regions, so I can close the regions. And if I just need Angui, then I open the region. Personally, I'm just the opposite side of PT. PT uh, likes to have uh, his script clean and short. I found that uh, most of the time I'm deleting stuff, then adding them again. So I'll keep them there until the final stage that I know that the product is ready uh, then I'll open my scripts one by one checking their uh, methods and if they have nothing in them then deleting them it's easier for me uh, the next template is my uh, mono behavior complete okay this is a hell of a template you won't need this most of the time because as you can see it's using everything 
accept the system. I can add it directly on me. These are the same public variables, properties, private variables, but all override mono behavior functions are here. So the custom class is empty. But in override all classes, I have common, I have trigger. In common, again, I have awake, start, update, late update, fixed update, and reset as before. But on trigger, we have trigger, collision, and mouse. Now here is extra ones on miss, on render, on application, on network. In on miss, I have on a control collider hit, on joint break, on particle collision, on render all the uh, render overridables, and on, on network, all the network overridables. So if you open all the regions at the same time, it will be a hell of a template, I know, I know, but believe me or not, it's all the mono behavior in one place. So you have all the stuff from mono behavior in one place if you need to take most of them. But as I said, most of the time I don't use this one. Okay? Now the, the last one is a little tricky in Visual Studio, but uh, when we are going to mono develop, you will see that it's very cleaner, very easier. So, uh, let's see what it is. I don't know if you encountered uh, this type of script in development times on web. Uh, sometimes there are variables in your inspector, for example, a boolean, that when you check them, uh, then some other variables will be uh, visible. If you uncheck them, they will be hidden. Uh, this, this is achieved by using custom editors. And for custom editors, uh, the, mono, uh, the unity help is very inconvenient, is uh, very uh, unfamiliar, and it's very hard to understand because it's JavaScript. Uh, it doesn't have any C sharp uh, template and snippet. Uh, I searched for two or three days to find the proper way to do that. But uh, after that, I wanted to create a custom editor template. Now, it was hard because you need to add this editor name there, okay? for your script, but as you had seen in your uh, previous uh, templates, if you put the editor name here, all the names will have editor. Yeah, we need that in here, we'll show, I'll show you there, but inside the class, we'll have one or two places that it shouldn't have the editor name, okay? So how the hell I should do that? Okay, I uh, created the editor class, but that description is for you. Here is say, keep it the one number at the end of the script name. Before that, uh, put your original script name, read the description for guidance. So, for example, I have a script called, uh, for example, hair generator, okay? and I want to have a custom editor for it. I'll put hair generator as the same script name. I'll delete the editor part and keep the one. Now hit add and it's much uh, I must say uncleaned First of all, let's read. Change the class name properly if needed. It should be original script name 
without any space in editor where the original script name is the name of the script you want to change to do that remove the space between the class name and editor word so first let's do that oh here is the one and if we remember let's see if this, uh, this is a custom okay I didn't script it here but I have a comment at the end of the line that says remove the one and the space between class name and editor so I need to remove one sorry sorry one and the space delete then going below uh oh here is what I was to uh, telling you we have hair generator just read further it says remove the one in parentheses and of course in front of the name so delete it delete it uh, the error remains because I don't have the hair generator in reality but now I can start tweaking things first of all for example I have a boolean name in my hair generator uh, named uh, generate I need to put the exact same thing here so public rule generate now I must say if script script means this one hair generator and in hair generator I had a boolean called generate so if a script dot generate oh sorry 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 if this is below so I'm defining uh, defining this so a script that generate because script GUI layout and the name for generate variable here. let's call it uh, space generate uh, for me okay so here is the, the exact uh, attribute in your script you want to uh, address it here so it was generate and to be honest let's take a moment and add that script so show you what will happen in unity so I'll call it air gener generator okay and in here I had a public bool generate okay now save this one and let's go on now I can address it here script dot here it is generate and it will be editor dot now what I want to add here here is dot begin horizontal none of them color fill curve fill and horizontal and 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 flow fill none of them integers label layer min max object pop up prefix property rectangle fill separator slider space tag fill text area vectors and that was what we don't have boolean begin with I think it was uh, little kill no uh, slider space tag kill text area text toggle here it is so I want to toggle 